The more cameras has evolved over time, the more we are falling for those flat color profiles. It's just the control, the ability to repaint that look and feel of your footage. Now, this entire process is called color grading, and one commonly considered trickiest part is grading skin tones. So today, I will be making it as simple and straightforward as I possibly can. So even if you haven't shot your footage with a color card in hand, this will give you a great starting point. Now, whichever software you're using, you will only have to find these panels and options, but the rest of the walkthrough, tips, and guidelines will remain the same. So let's get into it. So right into Premiere, we've loaded a scene. The color tones on this skin looks very flat. There's not much going on. There is a bit of a lipstick right here, but the rest of the skin, it just looks pale. The color interface does look a bit daunting, but I'll help you understand and get going through it really quickly. So first off, you need Lumetri Scopes. Here right in window, you have the Lumetri Scope here. You can open this up or you can open up your workspace which is color and you'll get all these panels opened up by default. In Lumetri Scopes you have this part right here which is called the Vector Scope YUV. It's a color wheel that'll tell you all the colors red, yellow, magenta and so on. Really you have this waveform Luma. This is going to tell you how bright or low the image levels could be at different point of time. Thirdly we need this Lumetri Color panel which is right here. If it isn't open for you just go to window and open Lumetri Color. So Lumetri Scopes and Lumetri Color, two things you're going to need. I'll get to the point where I can see the face more clearly. Right here, what I'll do is move to Effect Controls and select my Free Draw Bezier. Now, we need to capture the skin tone that we need to work on. And for that, I'll draw a simple mask around this girl's face. So... No hairs and no lipstick. So I'll go right into curves. Right, so the thing we need to work on is basically colors. This line right here is the line which we use as a reference. We need to move these colors a little bit more towards up and make it more saturated. If there are any tones which are moving towards red, we can try to align them as much as we can on this line right here. So for that, I'll just pick up this dropper tool and hit on my skin. You need to lift up some of these reds and take it from the yellow pale to a bit of... Now see how this thing is going to work up the moment I move this up. You see it's going up towards the red region. A bit of red is introduced right here. And we're going to add a bit more saturation. I'll just go up to hue versus saturation and click on the skin. You can see the way I'm pushing up these oranges right here and this whole scope is moving a bit towards the orange red area which is right here. To add one more point and move this up a little bit as well. Turn this off, you can see the difference. We've introduced a lot of colors right here and working quite well for us. This image is pretty bright already. How can I tell if it's reasonably bright? The good exposure and light mostly for skin tones usually come between 40 and 80. And this is right in the middle, if you can see, this is good, well averaged between 60, 70 and 50. So just gonna play around a little to adjust these things. So before we move on towards that, let me just show you what we've done so far. Turn my opacity off and Lumetri color off. You can see the difference that you've created only by making these two colors work. It's already looking very lifelike. So we've introduced a bit of bit of red tones, some of these oranges. Next up is the final retouching for the scene. Lift up the contrast a little bit. Not too much, somewhere around 20 should be fine. 2021, 20, yeah, that looks good. Raise up some of these highlights and for that I'll just keep Lumetri control in my mind. So we can reduce some of these shadows right here under the cheekbone and around this area. So if I turn this off, you can see highlights are a little too much. So I'm going to reduce them down and reduce some of these shadows as well to equalize this whole thing. Now, I think the scene looks really well. So now let's go back to effect controls and turn off Lumetri control. If I turn on the hue versus saturation right here, you can already see that the scene looks much better. So I've done some changes in the color wheels which is right here we've introduced some of highlights we've done some of these shadows and right here in the in the curves we've added a bit of hue versus saturation so you've seen it's got a bit more saturated if at any point you feel that the saturation is a bit too loud you can always reduce this down a little bit and adjust that to your liking now for me it looks pretty good right now turn this off you can see 
all pale yellow and right now see it looks already looks really really good all right next up we have a scene of this beautiful little princess right here if i can just play it to show you guys the problems that we have it's a really overexposed image it's too much white going on around the same thing with the face the face almost is the same as the background so we need to reduce some of those white exposed lines on the face and need to bring out a bit more shadows a bit more color tones and basically make this face stand out from the background keeping the color tones as natural as we can so for that i'll just stop the image keep it somewhere where i can see the face more prominently and as done before we'll just make a mask right here Based on that, you can see the Lumetri scopes pointing right here. We are very low on saturation, so we need to boost up some of these colors to come somewhere around here. Secondly, you can see the Luma. What I told you before was to keep it somewhere around 60. So 40 to 80 in between is a very good average for a good skin tone. Let's just go to curves. We'll raise some of these mid-tones up a notch turn this off and on you can see that it's moving that flat prof profile a little towards more skin looking natural profile so we just go back turn off the opacity turn off the lumetri colors you can already see that there is a lot of color that has been brought back to this face so before it was completely white now it looks more organically skin toned but it's a little too exposed so for that we just need to go back to add a bit more contrast to the scene 11, 10 sounds good to me. I'm gonna bring down some of these mid-tones because you can see all of these mid-tones are really, really high right now. See how this comes down when I pop down some of these mid-tones. So I'm gonna bring them down. And finally, I'll just add some of shadows right here to my scene. So there we have it, a very good looking scenes. Now you can see a bit of yellow going on, but there is a fair amount of red and the screen, the overall saturation has gone up as well. And I think that looks really nice. Let me play it out for you guys and you can see it for yourself. This is what you had before. This is what you get now. So good color separation from the background, getting a bit more organic details in the face and eye color has been brought back. Lip color has been brought back. So you've done yourself some really good grading here. So there we go, guys. Hope this walkthrough has helped you or will indeed be helping you in creating better content for your clients. Hit like and subscribe if you like what you see. Suggestions are appreciated. Till again, Forest Tech, signing out.